and an Iris text weight of 80 kilograms. Featuring Dagestan's Nasruddin Imamov and Canada's Jonathan Mounier. Bonjour, bonjour. Je m'appelle Nasruddin Imamov, j'ai 23 ans et j'ai 9 combats, 7 victoires. Je me sens super bien. La préparation s'est super bien passée. Donc je suis confiant. Je suis confiant à 100%. J'espère qu'il sera à 100% de ce fond. Ça va être la guerre. He's the man from Dagestan, but who fights out of France, Robin Black. Nasuddin Imamov, a very dangerous fighter, the Russian sniper, he's called. Light on his feet, he'll dance in and out again. That is the modern game. <laughs> what is the game about? What do we want to do here? I would like to hit you. You know what I also don't want to happen? I don't want you to hit me. That is the game of combat. That is the chess game of, of fighting. And that is, again, what we're going to see here is the modern interpretation of this sport and art form is move your feet, be exciting, but be elusive at the same time. And I expect the same thing from him above. And he will have been inspired by watching Lapalus, who he has trained with as well. This is going to be a welterweight bout against uh, Jonathan Meunier district, as he's known, or otherwise known, as the French spider for his love of Anderson Silva. Well, you know, and his friends named him that, too, as they watched him move and make people miss and dance and be flashy and string together seemingly impossible combinations with his fists and feet. Jonathan Monier is a very high-level mixed martial artist, as is Imamov. So we have us right here, a wonderful matchup between two very skilled artists. Take a look at uh, Nasadim Imamov's, you know, history and, and, and the way he's come into here. He's got a record of 7-2. and two. He's still relatively young, just 24 years old. And of course, this is the big fact about him, Robin. He's never been knocked out. Yeah, and Monier would like to change that if he can. He will be looking to attempt to change that. But, you know, we will also see Taylor Lapalus later in an 18 nights fight. He's never been close to being finished either. It is not just a game, and we will say this again, it is not just a game of what can I do to you, but it's let me prevent you from doing what you want to do to me. And that is why these men don't get hit hard. That's why they don't get hit clean. It starts, and hey, when you're inspired, and we'll see that from Munier, when you're inspired by the great fighters, you become a great fighter yourself, or you chase greatness. And that's what we'll see from these two as they face off here soon. Nasuddin Imavov, who, don't let it fool you, may not look very imposing, but he's perfectly matched with Jonathan Meunier, the same size, practically the same weight. My name is Joe Meunier. I come here to fight in Senegal. I'm from Quebec City, Canada. I'm 10 pro fight, 9 victory. It's an honor for me to come here to fight. It's far, but I like it. It's just another fight. It's what I got to do. That's my work. Jonathan Meunier, the Canadian, making his way to the Ares Arena, Robin. And, you know, this guy is also a UFC veteran. And funnily enough, he fought Colby Covington in Meunier's first UFC bout. And Colby Covington is actually fighting later tonight for the UFC welterweight title. Yes, he is. And that will be on, of course, pay-per-view. People will go and, and uh, tune in for that. That's going to be a fun fight between those two. Very similar, Colby Covington and Usman, in the way that they fight. Uh, and you know what? Joe Munier took that on short notice and did very well against Covington. He did extraordinarily well. Lost that fight. I believe he lost all three rounds. But he showed that he belonged at that level. He also has a UFC win. But there was an irregularity with his health at one point because of a past history with different tests around the skull and stuff. He's extremely healthy, perfectly cleared to fight. But at that time, that's why he left the UFC. So he's here, takes this one again on short notice. He's been dying to find the right fight. Imamov became available. His opponent was lost a week ago. So Joe Mounier jumps on a plane, flies across the ocean, is here on the continent of Africa to fight here. And we've been talking about how similar these two fighters are. I would say if there is one difference, and it might have an effect, it might not have an effect. Nasuddin Imamov, very calm, you know, keeps himself to himself. Joe Mounier, on the other hand, 
very much the showman. You saw it when he walked in, jumped down the stairs from the stage. He's coming in here, he's shaking his head, baring his teeth. Look at him. The attitude here is an attitude of, I'm going to go in here and I'm absolutely going to wreck my opponent. Oh man, this is going to be good. I remember when he turned pro in 2013, I'm a Canadian, and he was 10-1 and one as an amateur in Quebec, Canada. And him turning pro was big news. Then him starting to win and dominating and then going to the UFC Andrew and now here in Paris. The man fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist, his record, seven victories, opposite two defeats. He stands 191 centimeters, 6 feet 3 inches tall. He weighed in at 80.1 kilograms, 176 and 1 half pounds. Representing the Republic of Dagestan, Nasruddin, the Russian sniper, Imabov. His opponent fights out of the right corner. A Muay Thai specialist, his mixed martial arts record, nine victories, opposite a single defeat. He stands 191 centimeters, six feet three inches tall. His official weight, 80 kilograms, 176 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Canada, Jonathan District Mounier! Your referee, Leon Roberts. One. You can feel the tension here in the Aris Arena. Jonathan Munier just stamping his feet, staring down Nasrin Imovov, and then just doing a little bit of a dance move there as he looks to warm up. Here we go, round one. That is in a this good welterweight sign. fight. It's a good sign if you're a Joe Munier fan. Uh, he goes by Joe. His name is Jonathan Munier. But his friends call him Joe. If you're a Joe Munier fan, seeing him relaxed and playful, this artist is at his best when he is in a state of play. There, that was just a little quote pretend as he popped down, touched the thigh, and then came up with a punch. But look how, how fast this fight has started, Robin. Again, both players already with a grapple, already going forwards. Joe Money, his hands very high there, protecting his face, just switching stances as well, which is something we've not seen so far. No, nope. and Munier, Big right hand there by Imovov, though. Watch with Munier's front hand. Sometimes he will flare that elbow and he uses it to goaltend and draw punches out from you and then counter. Watch his, watch his elbow, his front elbow, and see how he sort of swims through fighting, he flows through it. You don't see this tension before he punches, he just expresses it freely. It's a big hit and miss though there with the overhand, even though, yeah. is it, are you saying, Robin, psychologically it has an impact? No, I'm, I'm just sort of noting his movement, that it doesn't look like he's exerting himself heavily. So in these ones, yes, he's not necessarily hitting yet, but you watch how fluidly he's throwing. So he's using less energy and he's keeping his heart rate low. Imabov just controlling the center of the ring so far. Ooh, his left hand hanging low, but Jonathan Munier comes firing there. Combination with the hands and then the low kick with his right leg. There's that flare of that elbow. Sometimes he'll goaltend with that arm to draw your shots, and then as you're coming forward, he'll throw the, the rear hand. That's a nice one. He disguised the kick with the movement of his body. It looked very much like he was throwing a punch. So as you're his opponent and you're seeing that, you brace for the punch or you look to react to the punch. He throws the kick and the other double leg take down there as well by Munye. Showing his whole versatility, his repertoire of what he's able to do. He's got him off up against the Aris Arena. Often what we'll see and what we'll note as we watch fights is somebody will try to take down, they'll either be stopped or the other person will get up. And we'll, we'll judge that as a success or a failure, but it's not so. These are all small choices that are being added to the way you play the game. Partial takedown success or the... Oh, that's the, him there with the left yeah. hand, didn't he? And that's the look there where he's goaltending with that front elbow and then firing back with the rear hand. And again, he watches, he flows, he swims these, so they don't always look like the most impactful shot but they're fluid and he doesn't burn as much sugar and burn as many calories burn as much energy as he's doing it that time that right hand that big combination yeah. there, left right there by Imabov but Munye coming back with a big overhand right as well correct me if I'm wrong Robin but you get the feeling that Munye he doesn't want to get into a grapple but he wants to be in constant contact with his opponent that's a really great observation what he is wanting to do is at least make his opponent concerned with all possibilities 
class, right? If you just stand and you kickbox with a man, he knows he's in a kickboxing fight. Now that can be valuable as well because you lure him into that and then just oh, 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 big oh, right hand yes. there by Natalie Mule, a flying knee as well. Munier just a little bit in trouble here. Yeah, that right hand was clean and it was a lot of gap. Well. Munier is in there. trouble. He's Munier walking. cut above the right eye there. Munier. You can see it bleeding quite heavily. It's another big combination by Imovov. Munier goes down. Imovov, He's in trouble. he smells blood here. Yeah, Munier. Munier surrendered his back as well. He is neurologically affected by those punches and you see it in the way his body is moving. That's the response, the result that Imavov was looking for. The, the early right hand came deep and penetrated deep to land on him. And since then, Mune Such has not been back. There. Look at that. Hand on his face and then sliding in with the elbow. Munier this, this is brutal stuff here. Yeah, right? look at his feet. There's blood all the way down to the foot here. Now Munia is up, but he's going to get hit. Yeah, as you get up, you go back into the open space, and in space is where chaos there, lies. Munia's got his backs against the rope. He he's still flooding him off. Deep this, trouble. This, this could be a lot of trouble for Joe Munier. District in trouble. Again, he oh. goes down. Imovov. That was, he pulled guard there. And it says he's aware enough and desperately wants to be in the fight enough that he's, he's being disassembled, taken apart, overwhelmed by Imavov. That's over. It's yeah. over. That's no! Fuck!